Hello, I'm Suni at ICU. So we're going to continue. Uh, we just look at head data, uh, six data. Now let's uh, uh, try to uh, see how the data uh, is organized. And you can use the table, uh, create a table function um, to check the data points. Uh, and the function goes at like this, you type table and then you refer to two columns and then it will create a table. So uh, let's try to see how many places of articulation uh, exist and how many speakers, for how many speakers and how many places of articulation. So uh, uh, the way to do it is <clears throat> you refer to the data frame called data, you use a dollar sign, and then once you hit the dollar sign, you will see the five uh, variable uh, that are available in your data frame. And in this particular case, we wanted to look at the place. So we click place and then data. And again, uh, the dollar sign. And in this case, the speakers. Maybe laryngeal is uh, more interesting. So let's do laryngeal instead of speakers. So now we want to have a table uh, that lists uh, what's how many items or what's what kind of levels uh, the place column has and uh, what ha what's in the laryngeal column. So let's run. And once you run it, uh, the table itself is generated in the console. So you can see here, I just highlighted the table that's being uh, created. And what we can see is uh, there are uh, 20 aspirated coronals, 20 unaspirated coronals, 20 aspirated dorsal, 20 unaspirated dorsal, 20 aspirated labials, and 20 unaspirated labials. Let's say you want to keep the information uh, for your own record. What you can do is uh, you copy and paste this. So the way to do it is you right click and you copy the selection. Then you go to the R script and you paste uh, the selection. However, this is not part of a script. So we want to comment this out. Otherwise you get this X, X, Xs. That means there's an error in the script that you created. And the way to comment out is uh, adding a pound sign. And, uh, and you can just manually add it or you can just use shift command C to add the comments. So to comment out multiple lines, use shift command C Mac and shift C in Windows. So then you got a nice uh, table like this. Let's say you want to observe how the data looks like. Uh, so um, we are going to create a box plot uh, based on the data that we just have. And what we want to do is now this time we want to see the difference of aspiration or like this difference of VOT uh, based on the laryngeal features. So uh, here's the command. Uh, if you never done it, please try to type it. We are going to use a ggplot uh, function and it's a function. So you open the parentheses. Then uh, the data comes from, we only have one data frame. So it comes from data comma, and then you have to type AES. AES means something like aesthetic. And then you identify which one is the X and which one is the Y. We have the data set here. The X will be laryngeal. So X equals laryngeal and Y equals VOT. We want to see the voice onset time differences. Uh, make sure that you uh, keep the uh, capitalization uh, uh, exactly the same because uh, if you just, it's all small letters, but if you type uh, a capital letter for V in VOT in the formula, then you're going to get an error. Then we have to define what kind of graph you want. 
we are gonna uh, type geometric box plot and we are not gonna set any setting uh, and we're gonna give a scene that's black and white. So now we reach the end of the line. So at this point, we are gonna run uh, this ggplot. Let's click run. And then what we see here is uh, in suddenly the plots is activated and now we see plots. And the plot has an as created uh, the, uh, a box plot for the uh, VOT of aspirated tokens, all the aspirated tokens and uh, all the unaspirated tokens, right? So the order of aspirated and unaspirated is decided based on the alphabetic order. So that's what aspirated is starts with A, so that's why it's on the left. However, uh, it's usually more intuitive to have this aspirated, which tends to have longer VOT on the right side of the graph. So how do you change the order of the levels? Uh, that's uh, what we're gonna do next. Uh, and changing the order of the uh, levels of a factor. So the factor is uh, laryngeal in this particular case, and we are gonna change the order. So whatever we are gonna create the data, it's the same data, right? We are just changing the order of the level. So what we use is we use a function called mutate. And what do we mutate? We are gonna look at the data set called data and the laryngeal uh, uh, column will undergo some mutation. So laryngeal column, what we want to do in the laryngeal column is uh, we're going to re-level the factors, FCT underscore re-level. And then what we re-level is uh, the laryngeal one and the unaspirated factor should come first and then uh, the aspirated factor should come second. Notice that the names of uh, the levels uh, in the factor are between uh, double quotation mark, right? So we want to have unaspirated and aspirated. So that's the end of the uh, command. And uh, this uh, newly re-leveled uh, data set will be also called data. No need to create new data with this, right? So let's run. And if you look at the console, nothing happened, right? If you had some mistype, maybe an error happened, then you have to check the capitalization, but nothing happened. But if this was uh, right, what we would expect is uh, when we create a graph, we, will, we should see the uh, uh, change in the order of these two uh, box plots. So for that, let's uh, uh, recreate a box plot. In this case, nothing changed. So we just copy and paste it. Recreate a box plot with uh, new order, with the new order of the levels of the factor laryngeal, right? So at the end of this line, I'm going to click run. So now what you can see in your graph is, okay, on aspirated is now on the left and aspirated is on the right. So uh, we were successfully uh, able to change the order of the levels inside the factor. So the name of the factor is laryngeal. The name of the levels are aspirated and on aspirated. Thank you.